Hi friends, welcome to Get Creative Thursday. I changed from mandala art to neurographic art because I'm finding that the coloring is hurting my neck and back when I'm leaning over and it takes a long time. So I looked up neurographic art, I'll put some links in the description below, and I'm simulating it best I can, but the way I understand it is the curves shouldn't repeat and um, it should be random. Not too tied to the results so that we can be in the present moment. So that's what I'm doing here. And I saw this method with the coin and it was really interesting to me. Black Sharpie so that when we color it This is the fun part for me. I like this part. And I kind of gathered that we could do as many lines as we wanted. And this is relaxing and fun. And definitely in the present moment. I'm not repeating any lines of the neurographica. I watched a couple of the official videos on YouTube by um, the psychologist from Russia. And he explains it better than anyone else can, I'm sure, because he developed it in 2014, apparently. Anyway, um, there's no set amount, more just sort of... Important thing is that they go off the lines, off the paper, and that they're random, not repeating patterns. There's an explanation about circles and curves are peaceful and corners are jagged like rocks. So the circle symbolizes the sun, which is safety and warmth and safety with rounded corners kind of thing. And triangles and are sharp. So anyway, what you're supposed to do is round out all the corners. And I forgot to tell you before you start, you have to think of a challenge. For me, it's just my back pain. And for me, just doing this helps my back pain because I'm standing up at my stand-up desk. You don't have to trace over the lines, but it's just sort of relaxing to get to the next one. I guess the whole magic of it is everything being connected. It's easier to see 
bigger picture when everything's connected apparently. Like I say, I am not expert at this at all. I'm just rounding off the corners. I guess that's it for this part. The next part comes when you have to color, and the way I understood is a few colors is better, like three or four. So I'm just gonna, and I guess the con unconscious mind sort of picks these things and whatever is soothing for people, I don't know. Um, but for me, I'm just doing variations on the theme. Some of the sites said circles are better than the actual psychologists did straight lines. But I'm going to try circles just because I do want to be a little bit less rigid. And I found the straight lines were kind of stressing me out. watercolor and make it look really pretty with shading. Um, I'm just doing the process today so I can practice relaxation. And I have to say, this did a lot more for me than the mandala coloring did. And I enjoyed it, the process. i try different um, mediums next time, maybe watercolor pencils or watercolor paints. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are interested in doing this with me every Thursday, live let me know i'll be glad to do that especially for my parkinson's friends all right have a good one everybody bye bye